In the last video, we have learned how to start SI setup wizard, how to edit layouts cross section, identify and assign voltage to supply nets. We have also discussed how to assign default eSpice model to discrete components. Now in this video, we will learn how to assign IBIS models to FPGA controller. As you can see, we have already opened the board file of Statics GX development board from our last tutorial. Now to assign IBIS models to FPGA controller, we have to set the search path first. To do that, we have to go to analyze and click over model browser. And here you'll find a tab which is IBIS models. Let's click over that. After clicking over IBIS models, as you can see, we can see few IBIS files, but still to set a new path, you have to click over set search path. And here you'll find some directories. So in the next step, we have to add a directory or the search path here, or you can simply remove it using a remove directory button. To add a search path, you have to click over add directory and locate where you have saved the IBIS models and click over choose. And if you want, you can change the priority of directories by just moving them up or down and click over OK. Now the next step is we have to load or translate the IBIS models. So Stratix 2.ibs is the IBIS model that we're going to translate. To do that, you have to select it first and click over translate button. Make sure you have selected this bullet, which is make model name unique to the file and click over OK. So as you can see till now, IBIS file is passed and loaded. Now close it. In the next step, we're going to assign IBIS model. To do that, again, go to analyze, click over model assignment. And from here, you have to select the device. So in our case, we're going to assign the model to U7, which you will find the last, which is U7 EP2S 60F1020. Let's select that and click over find model. So here software is trying to match IBIS model using the device name. So it can be different as well. So in our case, it is different. So just search asterisk and you'll find couple of IBIS models. And inside that we have to find statics two, and that is the IBIS device model that we have to assign and click over assign button. Once you do that, you can able to see the signal model is assigned for U7. Now you can click over OK and close it. Now in the next step, we have to audit again for SI design setup wizard to verify if net or group of nets are ready for analysis. To do that, again go to setup more and click over SI design audit. So as you can see, here we have unchecked couple of things, but it is selected again. So let's uncheck that. Click over next. And just check for all the nets that you have selected. So in our case, it is data, strobe and address. Click over next. And these are all the extra supply nets that we have ignored. So again, ignored all the errors and click finish. Here I always recommend to just check each error once if you are simulating your design for the first time. Now in the next step, we're going to display rats nets that will going to simulate rather than all the DDR2 interface displaying here. Firstly, we're going to hide all the rats. To do that, go to display, click over blank rats and click over all. Now to display a particular net, we have to again go to display, show rats, and click over nets and from filter we have to select net here and uh, we're going to simulate parallel bus data zero net between dim module connector and fpga controller so let's search that here quickly and hit enter so as you can see we have highlighted data zero net on this board file now you have to right click and click over done. After highlighting the data net or net that we're going to simulate, 
The next step is we have to extract the topology from that net. To extract the topology, we have to do some preferences setting. To do that, again go to analyze and click over preferences. And here make sure this should be selected to use default for missing components model. Now go to interconnects model. And here we have to define few things. For example, the percentage Manhattan length dx and dy. So here we're going to use 100% of dx and dy. If you want to go for very tight simulation, you can reduce it. And for default impedance, let's change it to 50 ohm. And here we have a default propagation velocity and default differential impedance and differential velocity. So let it be like that and click over OK. Now we are ready to extract topology in the topology explorer or SIG explorer. To do that, again we have to open constraint manager and here we have to select electrical wiring and find out the net that we're going to simulate. So in our case, we're going to simulate for parallel bus data zero. So let's select that, right click and click over SIG Explorer. And as you can see, we have extracted the topology from selected net. Let's save it inside the same folder. To do that, we have to click over file, save as, select the folder that have the board file and model files and you can name it topology underscore data zero and click over save. In the next video, we'll discuss about topology. You are analyzing the need of driver and receiver pair. We'll add components in SIG Explorer and we'll learn how to edit those components parameter. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.